dual fuel 327 we've got uh, LP gas running through the primaries and petrol running through the secondaries it's a spread bore it's actually um, mechanical secondaries unfortunately I'd prefer uh, vacuum but anyway we've got what we've got uh, there's a divider in that hat so that's the um, that's the primary so it's got an IMCO 300A um, supplied by an IMCO B uh, behind the divider we've run a second tube off and that runs around to the pod filter there yeah it's a dirty old thing I probably haven't looked at it for 10 years um, there's two fuel lock offs you can see that there's a primary lock off there and a secondary lock off so obviously the primaries are normally locked off unless I run on want to run on petrol only which I can so it can be a petrol only car that's uh, probably a Chinese distributor it's got a MSD module in it um, unfortunately it's not the rev limiter one which we'll get to show you how high it'll rev in a moment um, it's got probably 26 degrees initial 36 all in it comes in really quick at the it's like got a 10 degree just for quick starting uh, it's got vacuum so it, it'll actually idle at 50 degrees it's um this at the moment it's above the throttle place so it'll be idling at 36 and as soon as I open the throttle a little bit it'll be at 50 degrees um, I've only done that just to make it a little bit easier to start in the hot weather because it's like 35 degrees here today in December so we'll uh, we'll start it up and see how she runs Obviously I've warmed it up because uh, we wouldn't want to go doing this without uh, warming her up now. There's no, again, there's no rev limiter, so I won't get the secondaries, but it's not nice. So that's, that's the LP gas on the primaries. A little bit lazy as LP gas is. Okay, so I'll pull the hat off so you can see what we've done to make this work. Find a spanner, there it is. Okay, 516 stud because pull the quarter inch stud out. <laughs> You can see the cable there for open. This thing can be run petrol only if need be. So, long time since I've had this off, so I can't remember what problems I'm going to have. All right, we'll pause this. Okay, so I've just got to undo the gas hose so we can uh, pull the unit off and show you the modification. <laughs> Hasn't been off for probably 10 years. Okay, so the, and you can see that's been siliconed. Um, that's been milled off. The carby's been milled flat across the centre. Fortunately, being a spread bore, we can go forward to the stud. So we have a divider welded in. Yeah, I know it's a messy weld, but it doesn't matter. It's sealed. Uh, divider's welded in. You can see the stud hole. So to, simply the primaries pull gas only when it's switched to gas. The secondaries... Uh, obviously breathe through the pod filter. The, um, the carburetor's got two lock-offs. I've got a lock-off on the front there, that one. And I've got a lock-off on the rear and simply drilled and tapped the front bowl at that point. And the rear, actually that's a different rear bowl, it's off another carby, but anyway, it's a whole other story. Um, there you go, the old 327 that was built in uh, 1983. Um, it's had a couple of sets of heads and a couple more sets of head gaskets since then other than that oh and a cam change just because you know I'm not as young so uh, it's a little bit milder and uh, that's the story of the dual fuel at the same time 327